Welcome to Catholic Daily Divine, your daily source for spiritual inspiration and reflection. Reading of the Day A reading from the first book of 2 Kings 2 colon 1, 6-14 When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed and, when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you, before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him, and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan, wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah. Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water it divided and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel of the Day The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 6 colon 1 dash 6, 16 to 18. Jesus said to his disciples, You take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. E when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. E when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to others to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Words of the Holy Father. When you pray, go quietly into your room, withdraw from the world, and turn to God by calling Him Father. Jesus does not want his disciples to be like the hypocrites who pray while standing in the squares to be admired by the people. Kevnem 265. Jesus does not want hypocrisy. True prayer is that done in the secret of the conscience, of the heart, inscrutable, visible only to God. God and I. It shuns falsehood. With God it is impossible to pretend. It is impossible. There are no tricks that have any power before God. God knows us like this, naked in one's conscience, and there can be no pretense. Looking at God and allowing yourself to be looked upon by God. This is prayer. 
May the wisdom and guidance of Pope Francis' words fill your heart with peace and strengthen your spirit on your path of faith. Amen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share to spread the light of Catholic Daily Divine. Stay blessed.